hi friends welcome to my channel in this exercise number two of chapter number 18 uh, we will perform analysis for our finished surfaces in the context of uh, this category surfaces analysis refer to the functions that appears on the analysis tab of the surface property which we will uh, learn in this exercise here we can perform detailed analysis relating to elevation slope contours and watersheds also the result of an analysis are shown graphically in the drawing and depending on the type of analysis it can appear shaded area arrows contour lines and also 3d areas all color coded for the identification of different ranges of data in addition uh, we can create a legend to help convey the meaning of each color performing analysis can be thought of a, as a two-step process the first step uh, is to create the analysis range in the surface property dialog box and uh, this step does not produce anything visible in the drawing but it creates the data that will be used to generate graphically output to create something visible in the drawing we must perform the second step which is to assign a style to the surface that display the component of our analysis in this exercise number two of chapter number 18 we will perform analysis for our design surface and we will also adjust some lots uh, according to analysis to maintain our standards you can download this drawing from description link with the name of analyzing surfaces and you will open this drawing you can see here we have uh, the design surface if you want to know that how we create this finish design surface you can watch my first exercise of chapter number 18 just select this finished surface and go to surface properties if you are here in information tab then go to analyze analysis tab analysis type should be slopes because we are looking for slope now and here already you have eight ranges I just want to put four ranges for our analysis and here we have front button for analysis just click on it it will show some ranges for minimum slope and maximum slope we can make it according to our design also I will keep minimum slope uh, zero for number one and maximum flow for 10 it is excessively flat slope and number two it will 10 sorry here Here you can put 20 and then here 10 for this area you can put 20 sorry first you can change this and again here and the fourth one will be 34 so the first one is flat and then uh, number two is a moderated slope and sorry here uh, we need to change a little bit okay it's our flat number one and then we have some moderated slope for number two and then it's little steeper slope and 
at the end number four we have access levy uh, steeper now click ok sorry go to information and here you will change the style to slope bending 2d and then press ok press escape to clear the selections now you can see we have done with analysis of our surfaces so these red colors and dark red colors are showing our slopes according to criteria which we have put in this uh, analysis so for example uh, if you can see here we have lot number 17 and it's little up and we have some steep slope in this area how can we adjust there just uh, sorry just select this go to upper right viewport and here You can change something here if you want to bring to front or send it send to back. You can see steep slopes area and moderated slope and others. Select surface, go to display order. Okay, now I can select this feature line and I want to make lower this is then select feature line and here you have edit elevation commands just select rise and lower it will ask to put the elevation I will put minus uh, 0 0.89 like this and just press enter so it will go down and you can see this area will be get little flatter so if you want to make some changes for any lots here you can select the feature lines and then get you can add them into your surfaces so it was the exercise number two for analysis of our surfaces if you want to learn about hydrology analysis of, of finished surface then watch